Hello everybody and welcome to another episode from the Board Game Man. My name is Jamie Cloninger. Today we're going to finish off the trilogy that I first started. Uh, this is the Six Million Dollar Man trilogy. Back on episode 52, I did the Six Million Dollar Man. Episode 54 was a Bionic Crisis. And today we're going to go back to 1976 and play the Bionic Woman. Let's go to the gamer's table and I'll show you how to play it. Everybody. Welcome to the Gamer's Table. This is the board of the Bionic Woman. Yeah, it's pretty crazy looking, isn't it? Uh, it is from 76, So, uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool because it's very different. It's not your typical board, that is for sure. Right in the middle of the board, you have the headquarters. This is where you start. We'll do a quick little two-player. I'll just do blue and yellow. We'll put red and green off to the side. And then you also have these cards. These are the adventure cards. And what uh, you have all sorts of different adventures on the back. And it'll tell you what number to go to, like Adventure 6. You would find 6 on the board, and this would be where Adventure 6 would be, and so on. Adventure 25, 26, 22, and so on. You have three modes of transportation. The white dots are by automobile or car. The pink lines are for um, helicopter. And then you also have the airport, which are on the all four corners, and so on. So there's three different times. You have to notify the all the other players before you roll the die which mode of transportation you want to do. Now, there is three special cards that are in the deck. First one is go to headquarters. If you draw this, obviously, you go back to headquarters. Simple as that. You also have go to any airport. So if you want to uh, you know, say you have 33 down here and you're way over here, that'd be a good time to go to this airport here and that way you can snag 33. So this is a go to airport card. And you also have the Steve Austin Assists. So what happens is whatever uh, dice roll that you rolled, you get to double it. So that's pretty much all. I think there's two of these in the deck, and there's one of each in here. So uh, these. So, and that's the special cards that are in the deck. So next, what you're going to do is each each player is going to start off with one card. So we'll go ahead and do player one is going to get adventure thirteen. This is for ten points. And then you have Adventure 29 for 20 points. This is for player two. So these cards will go here. Okay. You also have two small dice that you'll be rolling. And you also have these clips. These clips might actually look familiar. I, I think these look like the same clips that are in that uh, game Masterpiece. Uh, these look like the same kind of clips. So anyway, these clips, I will tell you how these work in the game. So the object of the game is you're trying to get as many points as you can before the game ends. And what happens is, um, let, let's see, we got uh, we got 13 and we got 29. So let's see. So 13 is going to be right here. And 29 is going to be, let's see, right down here. So, let's, so blue is going to go first. Blue is the first player. Let's see if we can roll the die. And we got a 7. So he's going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's only one away from 13. Now, if you're driving by car and all that good stuff, you do not have to roll an exact count. So say I can, I can just roll the dice next time and I'll, I'll get it. So you can stop. So if you're you know, two spaces away and you roll a three or more, you can automatically land on there and grab the points. Okay? Now what happens is, say that I roll the dice again, I, I end up getting 13. So I go ahead and I pick up 13. Now what I can do is I can gamble. It's like you press your luck. What you can do is if you roll the dice again, if you roll a seven or higher, you get double the points. If you roll six or lower, then you lose the card. So say, for instance, I want to go ahead and I'm going to go for it. So what happens is I roll both dice. I rolled a seven. Oh, boy, I barely made that. Woo, okay. So what happens is I get double the points. So what happens is you're going to put this on the left side of the board that's facing you. So... If you put it on the left side of the board, you're going to tuck it in under the board just a little bit. And that's going to let you know that you got double the points for that card. Okay, that's what you have to do. And then you're going to draw a new card. And now we got Adventure 9 is his new uh, card he's going to get. Okay, 
So now player two is going to go ahead and roll. He rolls a six. He's going to try to make his way to 29, which is down here. Now he has to... See, I already rolled the dice already. You're supposed to notify the players which mode of transportation you're going to go. Let me see if I can get all this board in there. I didn't realize it was cut off on the screen there. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to go by... Um, say I go by car. So when you go by automobile, all you do is you roll the two dice and you start making your way down to it. If you run a roll by helicopter, okay, say I want to go by helicopter, one of the die that you roll must be an even number. So say I want to do helicopter, I'm going to go like this, and I roll the four. I roll the four and a five. So that four allows me to go one step over, whichever, whichever way I want to do, okay? And that would be the end of your turn. So now he wants to go to a nine. Well, look at this. He's like really close to nine over here to get his second adventure. He rolls, gets a 10. One, two, three, four, five. Like I said, you do not have to roll an exact roll. So he lands on nine. Does he want to press your luck? Let's see. Let's go ahead and do it. So seven or more gets the double points. Six or less, you lose it. 10, there we go. He gets to double the points. So once again, you're going to put this slightly underneath the board on your left-hand side. And that'll be, no, that'll be notified that you had doubled the points. So right now we have 40 points over here. We're going to draw another card. Now we're going to Adventure 11 for 10 points. Now, let's say that one of the players rolls Snake Eyes or you roll a double six. If you roll a double six or double ones, you're going to draw a card that's going to be called a Special Assignment card. So we're going to draw the next one. We got uh, Adventure 17, UFA, UFO Spotted, Jamie, what does that, what does that say? Oh, Reveals Hoax. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to read it backwards on here. So what happens is, this is a special assignment. So what happens is, this is when one the clips come in handy. So what you're going to do is, if someone rolls a double six or double one, you're going to draw a card, you're going to place a clip on the card, and this is going to be worth 50 points plus whatever points are on the card. So in this case, it is 60 points. It is up for grabs. Anybody can get this, whoever gets to it first. So you're going to put the card right here, off to the side. So you still have your normal adventures you're going to go on, but you also have this card that you can go to. So that's when you got to, you know, kind of think, okay, where am I at? You know, do I want to go, like, from here, 11 is just, uh, let's see, 11's over here. Adventure 17 is literally right here. So it's about the same distance. So I kind of figure out which way I want to go. Now he can just go bink, bink, helicopter twice and probably make it there because it's along the helicopter route so you can get there right immediately, okay? So it all depends what you want to do. So that's what happens when you roll a double one or a double six. Now say you were to roll it and then you would, after, when you, whoever rolled the double six, you would turn over the next card, put a clip on there, and then you would move the 12 spaces so that you would actually move after that. You can have up to four of these cards out here at one time. So say I rolled again, boom, I got double sixes again. Then you would take another card, place the clip on there. And then this card would be worth 50 points plus the 30 points. So now all of a sudden this is worth 80 points. So you can see these can be pretty become pretty valuable. Now after you say, let's say after, you know, okay, this, this, you know, player one got this and Player two end up getting this, and we've had two other. You have up to four top secret cards in a game. So say those two were taken, you have another one, then you had a fourth one. Okay. You can have up to, now after you had, whoops, let me see if I can clip this on here before, without wrecking the card. Because these clips, you got to be really careful. I don't want to mess up the cards. Look, these came in, they're in good shape. There we go. So you have up to four of these special assignments in a game. After all four cards have been taken, or they could be still sitting here as well, okay? If someone rolls a double one and double six a fifth time in the game, okay, that's when it becomes, dun, 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 a top secret assignment. And what you'll do in this case is you're going to put two clips on the card. And you're going to get end up getting 100 points plus the number of points on the card, Okay. So this would actually be 120 points. So after they've been four doubles of ones and sixes in the game, and then someone rolls a fifth one, at the time whoever picks up this final card with the double clips on it gets 100 points plus the 20 in this case, that's when the game ends. 
Now what you can do when it comes to movement on the board, say I rolled a six and a two. You can actually move forward six and then backwards two or forwards two and backwards six. So you do have that option as well. So say you kind of went, whoops, I need to go back. And you're Because on the airport, you need to roll an exact count to land on the airport. So you can't, like, on, on, unlike the, the um, adventure numbers where you don't have to do an exact count, on these, on the airports, you do. Okay, so that, in order to use the airport, so you have to land on, on those exactly. So there might be times when you have to go over here and go, one, two, kind of go back and forth until you can land on it exactly. So that's one thing about the airport is you do have to land on these exactly. And um, obviously you can, you can do... Like say you come to 24 here, you go by helicopter, and you want to get to 25. Obviously, you can't get there by helicopters. It's only, you know, in the direction of the pink arrows. Then on your next turn, after you say, I'm going to do the helicopter, and then you roll the the even number on one die, you move over here. Now you got to take car. So that on your next turn, you got to say, I'm going to travel by automobile. And then you roll the dice, and then you go. So make sure at the beginning of every turn, make sure you do notify every player, which kind of mode of transportation you're going to do. Unless you're like in the middle here, and obviously you're going to go car again. But you might become a, one, on these, one of these spots where you have an option. Make sure you, con, you know, make sure you inform all the players which way you're going. So just wanted to throw that out there as well. I don't want to forget to mention that. So you will keep playing until someone rolls a one and a double ones and double sixes five times when you finally get the top secret card. And whoever gets this top secret card will get the points and the game ends. So that's how it works. And the person with the most points at the end of the game wins.